It took me 18 years to realize that being biracial was okay. Until I was in college, I was always confused as to why people would come up to me and ask me, what's your ethnicity? It made me self-conscious of who I was, but you know, looking back, I'm glad I went through those experiences because it made me who I am today. I'm proud to be black, Asian, biracial, and most importantly, Asian. My name is Lars Brissard. This is the tale of my two cultures and my Belgian experience. I was born on January 8th, 1997. My father, Chris, is a black man with family roots tracing back to Louisiana, Georgia, and other southern states of the U.S. My mother, Crescentia, is a Filipino-American woman immigrating here uh, with her family when she was about 10 years old. My parents did everything they could to make life fun, exciting, and normal for myself and my younger brother Bryce. My mother was the sole worker of the household as a travel nurse. This caused our family to move around quite a bit. By the time I had graduated high school, um, we had lived in about 10 different cities across Southern California splitting time between L.A. County and uh, Orange County. Blasian culture in the media was virtually non-existent growing up. First of all, it was always separate. You either had black celebrities or you had Asian celebrities. It was never a mixture of the two, like I was. Uh, the only exception to that was Tiger Woods. You know, my dad loved golf, and whenever uh, Tiger was playing, he turned to me and said, Hey, you know, he's just like you, right? What? It's like, yeah, his father is black and his mother is Asian. So uh, Tiger Woods became the first and the only Blasian outside of my immediate family that I looked up to for quite a long time. I had always felt closer to my dad's side of the family. Uh, I lived in Inglewood until I was about eight years old, and most of my mom's family uh, lived over there. You know, all my aunties and uncles uh, lived just a short drive away from each other. Very family oriented group. But, um, you know, once me and my family, uh, we moved away, you know, I began to see them less often. And, uh, drifting away was not only our relationship, but also my sense of Filipino pride as well. I began to only associate with being black, uh, you know, on like official documents uh, asking for ethnicity. I would always bubble in black slash African. Much of my struggle uh, as a Blasian child came from school. You know, moving was already an issue of itself, having to, you know, meet and make new friends virtually every year. Um, you know, with this uh, came the pattern of questions that I had mentioned earlier. What exactly are you? Or why do you have curly hair, but your eyes were closed and you smile? There's been a lot of strides regarding racial acceptance in both media and entertainment. We missed all the shows about black and Asian families. Well, they're just like us. They're now you're all caught up. But there's still room for improvement. You know, one of the things I had wished, one of the things I wish I had growing up were celebrities of Blasian descent uh, speak out more about their unique side to about a platform for not only Blasian people, but anyone biracial. Uh, anyone who feels confused or ashamed of who they are. Or if someone doesn't feel enough of one race, you know, should never have to feel that. I think now more than ever, with you know, social media and the ability for anyone to share their story, I think it's important for us uh, as a culture to come together and share our truth. Celebrity or not. Growing out my hair was probably one of the best things that I ever, you know, did um, in terms of embracing my identity. I minored in digital filmmaking uh, when I was at UCI, and you know, for one of my classes, I had decided to make a film about my hair. It was called Through the Knots. It was an experimental film that compared the knots in my hair to the obstacles. While channeling you 
the struggles of natural hair care amongst black people. Not only did I get an A, but my film had gotten chosen to be in the collegiate showcase of the Newport Beach Film Festival. Uh, being able to showcase my work in a theater setting, you know, especially something so personal and my growth as a person it was very rewarding. Up until this point, I was always nervous as to what people would think of my appearance because I was never sure about myself. And everything I'd gone through in college, it all led me to this full acceptance of who I was, who I am, and I'll always have something